Hi, I'm Chris Slight, the Communications and Content Manager here at XSplit, and today we're going to take a look at setting up a call using XSplit vCam. So, first up, let's look at everyone's business friend, Zoom. Okay, so here we are inside my computer. I'm actually using XSplit Broadcaster 4.0 to capture this. It's uh, another program we make that's actually really useful for live streaming, recording your desktop, but you can also use it as a camera source, same way you can use vCam. You can add vCam into this and then you can add stuff like your Google Slides and things like that. Pretty useful, but not what we're looking at today. So let's take a look at Zoom. Zoom makes things pretty simple. Just go to the settings tab here, go to video, Drop down menu, XSplit VCam. Hello, it's me. So <laughs> one of the nice things about XSplit VCam, if we open that up, is whatever you change in here. So right now this is just like the camera feed, right? But say I wanted to remove my background, you can do that. If I wanted to use a YouTube video, you can do that. And it all happens like live. So you could actually be in a call doing this and uh, it would work. But yeah, that's basically it. Like with Zoom, you just need to do that. X with VCam and it's done. Now the process is pretty similar for a lot of the other big applications, but let's take a look at some of the others. So let's take a look at Microsoft Teams. Again, pretty simple. Once you have Teams open, you need to click on your profile picture, go into settings, then go into devices, and make sure that drop down menu, select an XSplit VCAM. Pretty simple, just go from there. Once that's done, again, you can do all the stuff with XSplit VCAM, open it up, it will do it in real time. Let's take a look at another one though, Skype. So Skype, again, pretty simple. Three dots, that is one of the few differences. I've always got a different sayings thing, but once you find the sayings, three dots, audio and video, XSplit VCAM from the drop down, and there you have it. Pretty simple, and this, this kind of applies to most programs, so we'll talk about that more out of this window. Hey, from here, you're pretty much good to go. One of the nice things about XSplit VCAM 2.0 is that it works as a webcam source in pretty much any Windows program. So it's generally just a case of finding that settings menu, finding the input source for webcams, setting it to XSplit VCAM and you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped. If you need anything else, do reach out to us on social media. And also be sure to check in if you have any problems with our customer support team who are available 24 seven at the address that's somewhere here. It's expert.com slash support. It's exactly what you would expect it to be, which is what we like to do with our programs. They work the way you'd expect them to. But if you need anything else, do let us know.